Previously on Dang and Rapa. Oh, the knives! There's a knife missing! There's all kinds of kitchen knives here. Big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning or? All right. All right, so we talked to Hina, but then we went into the the kitchen. Found the missing, like, well, the, the knives, but the like, one was missing, which we knew. You know where that ended up. I want to see if she has anything to say about the knife, though. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a, ni in a nice, neat row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So, you're saying that, that the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Nice. <laughs> I, I, how do you say her actual first name? Uh, Hina's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not. I never would. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Because, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hina. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other, is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> no, like, of course not. She keeps talking about being here at night, but I have to say, I would have to think that she was here before, before, like, lockdown. Otherwise, she would have been in trouble. I wonder if there's a time limit on the investigation. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way, I need to move as fast as I can. I, I I know I get in the habit of, like, clicking on these things. I can't waste my time worrying about these monitors. Forget it. I just need to erase it from my memory. Because sometimes they actually give you new dialogue. So I want to make sure I'm getting everything. You know what I mean? The forest behind us must be using the cameras to observe our investigation. They force us into a situation like this. What the hell do they want from us? And we already looked at everything in the kitchen. There's nothing else here. All right, let's get it. Let's back on out. Let's back on out. All right. We went that way. Bath is busted. Very strange. Anything here? Nope. Nothing new. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody just like back out of this completely. <laughs> We've already talked to him about that. I can't imagine he has anything new to say. Seems like. Can't really click on anybody else's rooms, I don't think. I'm gonna make sure we talk to everybody. We did the trash. We did the bathrooms. Make sure we do everything. Make sure we also like talk to everybody too, that we can. Anybody's gonna be in here. Oop, down here. Yeah, we got this already. Little pamphlet still lying here. Is there anything here that might help solve this case? There's nothing here.
I don't think anything. In we'll be in here, so I'll leave this area. I'm going to classroom 1B? I don't think we've been in here. This blackboard belongs to us now. Secret beauty. Interesting. All right, here's my number one suspect, guys. To, to kill someone just to save your own life, and I've been living with someone like that? I think I might v vomit. But isn't what Monokumo said really true? Did one of us really kill Sayaka? If the mastermind really was going to get involved, they would have just killed us on day one. Mm, that's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? I already told you, I don't do blood, so I don't plan on doing any investigating. Besides, I already know who did it. This is very suspicious. After all, where was Sayaka killed? In your room, right? What more proof do we need? We already know the truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. No, really doesn't. Nice. It's like, like I said, kind of like all the same stuff, but sometimes you get these little things from it. I can't, I can't see outside, so I have no idea if it's even right. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's a little time left in our investigation. Nobody wants to talk about the bulletin board? Who's Secret Beauty? I don't have time to worry about this metal plate right now. If I don't find some kind of clue. I don't think it's anything going to be in here anyway. See the area? Yep. Alright, so we looked at 1B. We can look at the map, get an understanding of where people might be at. We talk to him. We talk to her. We talk to her. Is this still locked? Rattle, rattle. The store won't budge. You must be locked. in the AV room, maybe? Because we could look at her tape, right? Potentially. There's nothing inside. It's a DVD player. I thought we could try to look at her tape. I care about the surveillance camera. Out of the store. I think we've done we've done the gym, right? I think we're still gonna have Junko's body <laughs> laying on the ground. How do we even get the 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 court like thing started? You can see without a doubt that it, this belonged to you. Uh, um. Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have came by and snatched it. You left it behind in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Which we already knew. Huh? Before she died, Psycho left a message. She wrote numbers. Yep. Okay, so all, same. all the same here. She doesn't know what it means. I don't think of like anything else I might be missing. How do we even get this, the, like, the investigation? Yep. Do, do, do. And we did this. Sorry, kind of just, like, rehashing thing everything. I want to make sure I got everything done before. Yeah, we talked to her. Good old Celeste. 
Maybe we don't know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I might have, I don't intend on revealing anything yet. Well. All the same. <laughs> I was trying to ho hoping we, were, we would find, um... As for me... Yeah, the trash. I uh, hope we find like, Kyoko or I forget if that's her name or not. <laughs> but haven't been able to see her anywhere else, so she's probably in her room. And I don't think we can just like go into people's rooms. So we go into spare hotel. Oh, the, the, that's where we're going right now. Duh. All right. So I, I'm assuming in order to get this started, we go back into our room. Can we talk to Kyoko? It might be. <laughs> might be. Is it going to Junko's room? She's dead. <laughs> Good old Leon just hanging out there. Leon's also somebody that could be could be potentially the the dude. I noticed a human shaped blur come tearing out of the depths of the hallway. Hey, you bastard! Hold up, hey! What the hell do you think you're doing, huh? I mean, seriously? How does my room have to? How does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Well, I suppose it's a natural reaction to someone trying to get in your room without permission. Huh. Interesting how everybody else that we've clicked on, nobody else has come running. As my hand came into contact with the knob of Fumi's room, I heard a rumbling like a herd of elephants stampeding down the hallway as Mr. I say that. Hold it right there, Mr. Naegi. Huh? There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. Trying to enter someone's room without their express permission is the highest breach of etiquette. So it would seem. Whether it's related to the case or not, you must respect a person's right to privacy. True. Yeah, as I was like, oh yeah, he's like the only one. I wonder what happens if we click on other people's. All right, so those two, very suspicious. Very suspicious. I don't really have, like, I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. That was a different dialogue. We already did that one. Does he say anything? Hey. Huh? Did I give you permission to do that? Get your hand off that door. Sorry. Well, I can't imagine that this has anything to do with the case anyway. This is Mondo's room. I don't think there's anything will help. Yotaka. Okay. Okay. We tried Kyoko, Asaka, and we didn't do the new Makoto one, did we? Are there any clues? Can we get into her bathroom? Sayaka. No, I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. We are searching for clues. Oh, we should go to our trash, right? There's only, there's only one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might not be. it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Saka. I need to borrow this DVD. All right, that's that's something we need. That's something we need, you guys. I know I'm taking quite a while with this investigation, but I want to make sure we get everything. Oh, here's here's a sewing kit and the organ map. Use not no useful clues. I mean, that's kind of useful. Maybe you know what I mean. Nothing here. Right, I think that's pretty much everything then. 
All right, so we want to go back to the AV room then, so we can watch that that tape. Oh, can I just, um... Do that. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Why did I just get confused? Did I just confuse myself with where the AV room was? <laughs> Come on now. There we go. Alright, the DVD player, guys. The DVD player. Let's do this. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play, and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends that she had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I couldn't hardly believe. <gasps> what the? Mm -mm. Yikes, they're all on the ground. I just noticed that. Psyche had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. Oh, what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're all super famous pop, pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say that he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take, this, take things this far? Bing. Bong. All right. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? <laughs> it's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of oh, the school. Oh, all right. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Bum 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 bum. Oh, I love the like eeriness of the music now. Well, like, no music, but just like just the this the sounds. Yo! You're late, Makoto! We've all been waiting for you! <laughs> hmm. I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the m murderer you you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Akuto's crime. So, 
They really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Saika both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Exciting. All right, so I can talk to everybody here. Sweet. Kind of find out what everyone's like last bits what? are. What? So, whoever stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. Damn. We really got to go through this with this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you want to confess, I guess now's the time to do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Hey. There's no point in standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Let's get this started. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leading that way. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, in the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? And you are useless. <laughs> what the heck? I can't help but wonder who whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Mm. Being so insistent that you're obviously killed her. Though you even blah, 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 being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. I don't know why I gave her that voice just then. You know what I mean. Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here from here on out. The three of them mm. are the only ones that like ran to their doors, so. So the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagy's final curtain call. And I don't know why I started off with that little voice. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? No. No. Can't waste time with this right now. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, no, no. Scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to the grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me how to do that. Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned trembling with anticipation toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. And then it crashed and we all died. The steel box ascended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how Death Row inmate feels when his, fine, his time finally comes. Oh. Rather than that, it's not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment. Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Does it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Dude, not even close, it's total shit. Now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Hurry up now, hurry up. We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. 
which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their tension and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. I think we just found our our, na our name for our episode. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yes, let's go ahead and save, guys. All right, so courtroom preparation, pretrial prep. So we'll probably... What's this class trial that Monokumo mentioned? Can Monoku Makoto sweep away? Can Monoko Makoto sweep away the cloud of suspicion surrounding him? Even with a dead body laying in his bathroom. And what about the blackened? Who's actually responsible for Sayaka's death? Huh, interesting. Alright, so we open the e handbook. We have the truth bullets. I'll probably just go over this and then we'll do the we'll do the courtroom stuff next episode. I just feel like that might be a little bit easier. The Monokuma file. A victim of Sayaka Maizono. The death of time estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. The death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was stab wound to the abdomen, and the right wrist appears to have been fractured. Evidence of a struggle. There are a number of scratches and gouges on the bed and walls in Makoto's room. A replica sword. Makoto took this, this form and gym entryway and put it in his room. Uh, the sword was found of its sheath on the floor in the middle of the room. The sword handle was missing. Some of the gold coating and it was part of the blade. So that's, that's that part's interesting. So we, we have, we've seen the, the gold dust on Saika's wrist, but so far nobody had it on their hands. Makoto took this from the gym way. The sheath was found some distance of the sword itself and shows evidence of being scratched with a sharp object, which could have been the knife. So it's possible. Wait a second, you guys. If you're going to attack someone with the sword, you would almost remove the sheath first. What if, guys, what if she tried to kill somebody? They defended. On the night of the murder, Makoto and Sayaka traded rooms, room keys. When the victim was discovered, Makoto's room key was also found in Makoto's room. Sayaka had originally asked Makoto to switch when, with her when someone attempted to force their way into her room, and she became frightened. Maybe she made it up, guys. Maybe she made it up. Somebody came... She maybe like okay, so here's the thing. Maybe she took the knife. Okay. I'm just like wild accusation here. Maybe she took the knife. Somebody came and knocked on Makoto's room. To like talk to him or whatever. She, they came in. She tried to stab this person with the knife. They took the sword to defend themselves with it. Because why would she have a broken wrist? Yeah, why would she have a broken wrist? And then the, there would be scratches and stuff all over. So like, it's almost like she attacked somebody. They used the, the sword to defend herself, to defend, defend themselves. And then like, they killed her in self-defense. So like they they busted up the her wrist, then took the knife and killed her in self defense. This has been placed in Makoto's room before he arrived. It remains unopened, and there is no evidence of having it been used. All of the male students claim that they have been used. There's 
all the other male students claim that they haven't used theirs either, but still. We haven't been able to get in anybody in this room. And like three people like freaked out about that. Not a single hair was found on the floor at the scene of the crime. In addition, the lint roller shows evidence of being used. Like maybe she like decided to be his partner because she was going to kill him. I don't know. <coughs> Saika's wrist. Saika's wrist's right wrist has been fractured and her wrist was... Saika's wrist has been fractured and her wrist was glittery at the... Yeah, so... In addition, her hands appear to be completely clean except for the index finger of her left hand. Which had some blood on it. Which had some blood on it. A series of numbers have been written in blood on Makoto's bathroom wall, 11037. It is assumed that Sayaka wrote these numbers while leaned up against the wall as she was lay dying. And Kyoko was like... So I've actually... So this is obviously... This is the the downside of, of playing this game in segments. Because I actually have time to like sit there and think about this stuff. So like Kyoko was like made it like a very like a point to like talk about this particular about like if she was leaning if she was up against the wall and had her hand towards her like what would that mean? And like I've actually sat there like with my hand behind my back and like pretending to write stuff and like I don't know like exactly what it like what that like actually does. Um on top of that, like I've seen this image a couple times and the two ones act like obviously looks like it's been connected. So this might not be a number at all. And I'm like having a realization of that right now, because as I'm looking at this, these two number, these two numbers, one, one, it's not a number at all. It's a name upside down. That's fucking Leon. How the hell? Why? So Leon just became prime suspect number one then. So Leon, it, is that right? Leon had to have killed her then. Yeah, that's a, that's a forget that's a fucking Leon. <laughs> oh no. I don't know how I fight like that. I'm hoping it's not that cut and dry. I'm hoping it's not that cut and dry. They tried to do this whole thing with the numbers. That's that was kind of like the way they they try to like get your mind. But if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for that little smear. So I just, so Kyoko, when she was talking about having your back up against the wall and writing, was she talking about like you're writing upside down? Because I don't think that's accurate. I don't think that was that would be accurate. You could still write right side up. I don't this doesn't make sense to me. That whole that whole thing like, that was trying to like they got my brain working too much about that. And I just like I don't know. I don't know. But that looks like Leon. I'm hoping it's not that cut and dry. I'm hoping it's not Leon and it's that cut and dry. My only thing to think of is like so Leon is a baseball player, so if he used the sword as a as defense, as I'm saying, like maybe he like went to her, like went to Makoto's room to talk to him, and then she attacked him, and then he used the sword as a blunt object, like a baseball bat. Then, right? Broke her wrist. Maybe she stabbed herself. I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know. Now like, I'm just like, I don't see why Leon would have any, depending on what he saw, I don't know, on this video, why would he have any motive to kill her? Like, why would he be after her specifically? This doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm hoping it's not Leon. And I just like, I'm, that's just like a red heron. Um, Makoto's bathroom door uh, was difficult to open due to the night. Do it to it not quite fitting in the door frame properly the only two people who knew the trick to in to opening it were makoto and the room's owner and saika the victim 
a code of the room's owner and sack of the victim. Like, she could have, like, put herself in there, locked it, and then... The doors don't lock, so... I don't know, this doesn't make sense. The doorknob had been broken. Nothing on that, though, was, like, the screws holding in a place had all been partially or completely removed. So if that's the case, somebody is lying about not using their toolkit. So it's possible if Leon let us in his room and we saw his toolkit. So I, if we have the option, uh, maybe we have the option, I don't know, of, of having the guys present their toolkits. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? There was an episode of Attack on Titan that they did something similar to that. I don't want to, like, spoil Attack on Titan for anybody, but it was something like, similar to that. Dorm nameplates. Nameplates on the door side of Makoto's rooms were apparently switched at some point. Kitchen knives. The kitchen in the dining hall has a set of knives. Apparently one of the knives has gone missing. Also, she took the knife. She was looking for... She was looking for a something that she could use for self-defense. So it's possible she took the knife. The knife in the kitchen went missing while... Uh, Aoi was, uh, or Hina was in the dining hall. Hina swears that Makoto did not come to the dining hall at any point while she was there. I don't know why we didn't ask who she saw. There's apparently a trash room with this within the school. It's blocked off by a sturdy gate that can only be opened with a trash room key. This is the other thing. The incinerator can be activated via a switch on the machine. Fumi, Fumi was... Uh, was on cleaning duty and he claims that the last time he saw the incinerator it was off however Makoto checked it after the incident the incinerator was in fact on the distance from the gate to the incinerator is roughly 30 feet a piece of burnt clothing was found next to the incinerator in the trash room is apparently part of a shirt and a cuff that was noticeable with a blood stain on it I don't remember what people were wearing that's the thing it's like was Leon wearing a normal shirt did I go back into another episode and watch that? Would that be cheating? The 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 glass ball makes sense if it's 30 feet. But here's the thing. How did the stuff get into the into the incinerator? Like I, my thought was like somebody threw the glass ball. That's why it shattered. But it hit the button, turning that on. If would make sense if Leon is a baseball player, would have good aim throwing a crystal ball to hit the button on an incinerator would fit comfortably in the palm of a person's hand. Yeah, as a as like a baseball. Shiro left the ball in the laundry room on the accident, so anyone could have come along and taken it. So depending on they kill like so we just let's roll with Leon for a second. Leon kills her. Next day goes to the laundry room takes off bloody clothes or whatever he has on him, tries to wash it, finds the ball. How does this stuff get into the incinerator, though? That's the part that doesn't make sense. That's the part that doesn't make sense. All right. Let's go ahead. Can I save again? Let's go ahead and save while we're here. We're in pre-trial pre prep. Um, I'm going to call it this one. Next episode, we will begin the trial. I Like I said, I'm hoping... Hoping it's not as easy as just the Leon thing. If it wasn't for that stupid image. I've seen it like a few times right now. And it just for some reason this time clicked with the like little, little blood drag from one to one. So like it looked like an end. I'm hoping it's not... Maybe Leon knows who did it. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by Premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Danganronpa content. Until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.